Hey guys, this is PK News back with the news for you in regards to Imran Khan. So, since yesterday, because there was a price hike in uh, petrol, Imran Khan had some interesting things to say about that as well. So, I'm going to share uh, this situation with you. Um, a few tweets he made uh, in regards to this. The first one is Imported government has increased petroleum prices by 40% or rupees 60 per liter. This will increase burden on the public. By rupees 900 billion and price hike in basic necessities plus the rupees 8 increase in electricity price will put entire country in shock. Expect inflation by 30% highest in 75 years. And then he says our government sustained pressure of COVID and gave rupees 1200 billion worth economic package. This year alone we reduced sales tax to 0% and additionally provided Rs. 466 billion energy subsidies to protect our public. For us, our priority has always been our people. Then he says, I want everyone to come out and protest peacefully after Juma prayers tomorrow against this imported government anti-people policies of massive price hikes and crush the public and wreck economic havoc in the country since they have no stakes here as the assets are all abroad. So this is what Imran Khan has to say in regards to this. Then he goes on to do this in uh, Urdu as well. <coughs> and then he has another tweet that, um, let's just translate that in English. How do you do that? Okay, there you go. All right, so uh, what he says is Moody's uh, has downgraded the outlook of Pakistan's economy from stable to negative. Those who plotted to overthrow our government had no plans to take over the economy to get rid of cases. So Moody's changed Pakistan's outlook to negative from stable affirms B3 rating. So this is news right now. The article that he has shared from his computer uh, looks like a HP desktop. So anyway, this is news uh, quite drastic right now can't really say much so with that peak and use that you have a nice day thank you for listening and watching